everybody this is Sherry and I just wanted to show you something um, it all of us have all kinds of embellishments that we use on altered projects or um, our cards or whatever and a lot of you remember that um, for the besties team and I'm going to open it so I can get her card out but I will also put her information below. Mae Larson has a store called Creating with Details. I'll put that up there for you to see. And I'll definitely put the link below. She has absolutely beautiful, beautiful stuff. And so, you know, even here in Florida, and I'm in North Florida, it got to... Um, 22 down to 22 degrees last night so as you know or most of you know if you follow my channel I have a brain tumor I have to keep my head covered from the extreme heat and the extreme cold which we have the extreme heat 99% of the time and now we get the extreme cold so I got some hats to wear this winter because it seems like every winter I end up losing my hats I can't quite figure that out but I got some hats to wear and this is one of them. I've got a white one and it was so cold this morning that my little girl took the cream one and we put it on her to keep her warm. But I wanted to show you what I did with some of the things that May uh, gave me in a, um, a package that she sent us all to use and I'm sure that she probably thought that most of us were going to use these on altered projects or cards but this is what I did she sent me some absolutely beautiful pieces and I mean this one I love the it's the oh I can't think of the word I want to say iridescent but it's the multicolored, and it picks up whatever colors around it. Now, I actually put it on the cream hat, and it looks better. But um, I, my little girl has that one. And I put a flower on it for her. And I'm going to zoom you in here. Look how pretty that will look on a hat. Now, this one, the eyes, see, it's got black eyes. They're covered, you know, it's not, I really liked it on this one until I realized I lost the eyes in the black. So, I'm going to put this one, most likely, on the cream-colored one. But look at that. I mean, doesn't that just look gorgeous? And can you imagine just, you know, walking around, you're at the mall or you're out shopping or you're out doing something, and look at how pretty your hat can be. You don't have to have, you know, ugly old hats. And there's the blue one. Look at that up against that black. Now, is that not just stunning? And let me see. I got the pen. Let me put it the right way. And it just kind of nestles down in the um, in the bridge of that hat. And so there you've got that. And then, so I mean, not everybody has these. And not, you know, And it, but if you don't, check out May's store. Because she has them. And they're gorgeous. And she's got, I know that she sent, this is what I got. But we all got different stuff in our packages for the My Besties design team. So I know she has other um, pieces that you could use to decorate your hat. Now I'm going to show you something that almost all of you probably have in your stash. And I'm going to move that one away and bring the white one in. Uh, I got to adjust it because I twisted it. But look at this. It's one of the pins from the dollar fifty bin at Michael's and it says it's the one that says love it came in this set that has the fleur-de-lis and the crown and it you know it's a functioning pin as you can see and so there's something not if you don't you know want something quite as bold which I love the other ones but 
I, you know, some people are not quite as stand, you know, don't want to stand out quite as much. And if that's the kind of person you are, something as tiny and, you know, as pretty as this. Or picture making a, a bottle cap with just a few small short dangles. You wouldn't want them too long, I don't think. But, you know, you could move it up higher on the hat if you needed to. Picture one of those on a real pretty hat for this winter. Come on, people. We can't, you know, just because it's cold and we got to cover up and we got to try to stay warm does not mean we cannot be styling. And I mean, I just think that is gorgeous. And and then the cream one that I, like I told you, I used for my little girl. I, uh, I put... A, it was actually a flower that my daughter wore in her hair at her best friend's wedding. And I have kept it. I just thought it was pretty. And May sent a metal embellishment, um, a metal flower, a metal piece. And I might try to do something with that. I just, I got to see what kind of, because I wouldn't want to put a paper flower on it because if it gets wet, it would be ruined. But I may see... If, what kind of silk flowers or make a fabric flower and put it with the metal embellishment backing because it's beautiful. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless and we, we all have these kinds of things in our stash that, you know, we got for cards or altered projects. So, go check out May's store and it's, um, there it is again, Creating with Detail details and I'll put the link below for you for her store because I just well one I just think that's stunning I mean that's just gorgeous and I love and on the cream one oh it's just it's just gorgeous and um I'm hoping to get a pink hat because there was a pink one I want and um and so I can hardly wait to you know, put it on that and watch it pick up the pink hues from the hat on those crystals. It will be gorgeous. But decorate your hats. Come on, guys. I saw on uh, Facebook today that um, Aunt Bex Creation, she made um, a slouchy hat, which I love. And I sent her a message to find out um, if it was crocheted or something uh, or knitted. Because I can crochet. Even though I, can, I learn, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. But this goes to show you that if you want to do something bad enough, you can. When I first got my, was diagnosed with my brain tumor, I lost my sight completely. And I loved to crochet. And I didn't want to have to stop crocheting. Because it just seemed like an inconvenience to me. <laughs> And I needed something to keep me occupied. And you can only listen to books on tape so much before you want to scream. And so I learned to crochet by feeling my stitches. And so depending on a pattern, if it's real hard, if it's hard, I can't do it, of course, when I because my eyesight's not good enough. But if it's a very simple pattern, I can feel my stitches. And that's how I crochet. And I, I crocheted when I couldn't see at all. So if you want to do something, you do it. You put your mind to it and, and you work toward that goal. And you'll make it. And if I can do that, anybody can do that. And, you know, no, I'm not going to go out and make the these huge afghans with intricate patterns like I used to. But simple basic stitches and things that I can touch and feel, you know, with big enough stitches, I can do. And so I'm hoping that maybe Becky's pattern is a crocheted pattern and a simple one. Because if it is, I'd like to make one and snazz it up with some more of the really great things that May has in her store. So, guys, go do what makes you happy. Don't let people set limitations for you you know don't let don't set any limitations for yourself you know if you want to do something you put your mind to it and you do it go check out May's store guys you will love the things she has 
And now I'll get off my soapbox. I just, you know, I figured if I can do it, anybody can. And, um, and I just want you guys to never, ever, I care so much about all of my subbies and my friends on YouTube and I don't ever want you to say you can't do something because if we want it bad enough then we work hard enough and we get it and um, and I have faith in all of you that you can you put your mind to it you can do it and um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys and share the beautiful things that May gave me that are going to make me look styling and hot this winter. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.